Hey everybody, it's Mr. MathBlog here, and this lesson is on uh, multiplication strategies with multiples of 10. Okay, so don't forget all your lessons can be found at uh, uh, MrMathBlog.com. Here's our essential question. What strategies can we use to multiply with multiples of 10? So let's go ahead and get started. What, uh, what is a product of 10? And all the counting numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way up to 9, okay? So uh, let's go ahead and model the multiples of 9 using base 10 blocks. Okay, so here's uh, 1 times 10. It's 1 times uh, 110 right here, which gets me 110, which is just 10 right there. And I know you're thinking, well, duh. And hopefully you're thinking that. Anyway, so here's uh, 2 times uh, uh, 1 tens right there. There's 2 tens right there. So 2 tens are going to give me 20 right there and so on. And then so there's 3 tens. 3 tens gets us 30 right there. So notice I'm doing, here's the multiples of 10. 10, 20, 30. So we're going to keep going, you guys. And we're going to do all the way for what are the first 9 multiples of 10. All right, let's get some room over here. There's the first 3 over there. Okay, so there's a four tens or 40 right there. There's five tens or 50, six tens or 60. Okay, let me rearrange that. So there they all down there. So there's our seven tens, there's our eight tens, and there's our nine tens right there. Okay, all right. So uh, let's see, here's another one. B&B Test Prep offered free tutoring classes for five days. Mike attended the free tutoring class for 30 minutes each day. So how many minutes did Mike attend the class? Okay, so one way is we can use a number line. So 5 times 30, and think think 30 as three tens, you guys. And so so if we uh, here's a number line, and the number line's going by tens right here. So here's 0, 10. Okay, so this would be 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Here's 90. Here's 100. 110, 120, 130, 140, 150. So write the next multiple. So write those on the number line right there. Okay, so there's step one. Let me move that up. Okay, and then uh, step two, draw jumps on the number line to show five groups of three tens. Okay, so here's one jump of three tens right there. It takes us to 30. Okay, so there's um, uh, three tens. There's one ten, there's two tens, there's three tens right there. Notice the number line's going by tens right here. So when I do three of them, it's going to jump 30. So here's the second jump right there. That's going to take us to 60. Here's the third jump. So I'm just going by threes. There's the fourth jump. There's the fifth jump. And so we get to 150 right there. Okay, so 5 times 30 is 150. So, so Mike attended the free tutoring class for 150 minutes. Okay, here's another way we can use place value. So we'll just use the base 10 blocks again. So here's 1 times 3 tens. Okay, so 10, 20, 30. Here's two groups of three tens, or two times three tens. Well, two times three tens, well, this is 30 on top, and another 30 is going to get us 60. All right? We want to do five times three tens. So here's three times three tens. I added another 30, gets us 90. Here's four times three tens. Oops, my computer's being, uh, let's do, here's uh, four times three tens. So we just add another 30 over here is 120. And then finally, 5 times 3 tens gets us 150 right there. So we can use place value right there. Okay, so 5 times 30 is still 150. All right, how about this, you guys? So think of this. 5 times 30 is the same as 5 times how many tens? Well, how many how many tens is 30? That's 3 tens, you guys. So 5 times 3 is 15, so that's going to give us 15 tens. And when you multiply it by 10, you just add a 0. So 15 tens is just going to be 150 right there. Okay, nice quick lesson, you guys. Okay, take care.